boats left abandoned in the Charleston Harbor, causing waterway authorities new headaches. Not only are the derelict vessels dangerous, but removing them can be costly. News 2's Riley Benson took to the waters to get a first-hand look at some of the boats waiting for a tow. Abandoned and derelict boats wasting away in Charleston waters. It's a headache officials say happens far too often, leaving them with a mess to clean up. There's no shortage of boats in Charleston, from dinghies to yachts, but not every boat makes it back to dock. Some are left abandoned, causing hazards and environmental problems. If they break free in storms, they pose a hazard of drifting into marinas, into um, some of our structures. Secondly, they're a navigational hazard because a lot of them aren't lit. Many are left out due to cost of upkeep. The Charleston Harbor Patrol Unit is tasked with finding out how they got there. Begin trying to track down through the registration and the uh, hull identification number who was the last owner, and we'll trace the steps of that. If an owner is identified, Sergeant Chris Morell says the owner is issued a $1,000 citation, but the real problem comes when the owner can't be found. If that does not happen and we're unable to track down the owners, then we start the abandonment process for us to acquire funds to remove that boat from the waterways. The money comes from the city, SCDNR, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and outside donors. The patrol unit has been working hard to keep the Charleston waters clear. We've made a significant change. We've gone from almost 30 boats down to currently we only have nine currently under investigation in the city of Charleston. Three of the boats have already sunk, tripling or quadrupling the cost to remove them and increasing the burden on the environment. Sergeant Morell says that's why they're acting fast. The best thing we can do is take this proactive approach and get a boat while it's still floating. And that's what we're, one of the biggest things we're trying to do. The Harbor Patrol Unit is hopeful it can secure funds and grant money in the near future to be able to remove the boats still floating before they sink and cause even more problems. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count on Two.